so, um... I don't know if this episode's still gonna be running, but, like, uh... Recently, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this week, mm -hmm. uh, we have cut the episodes down to one a week. Because we're a little bit, like scared of burnout beyond yeah, other things. Um, like, you could probably tell here that we're kind of, like, <clears throat> running out of things to say as we're saying them. Well, I don't even feel like it's a running out of things to say sort of thing. Well, I, feel I like am it's, right now. <laughs> I feel like it's more like we, we've been doing these a lot ever since we switched over to the 20 minutes instead of 10. Yeah, they, they take they get consumed faster. Yeah, because y you have to figure if we do, you know, like an hour and a half worth of footage, an hour and a half is only four episodes. <laughs> yeah. Which is four days worth of footage, and it's like we have to do it every single four days. Yeah, it's so like, we're no, kind of like slowing the flow. Yeah. Um, in part because, like, we've got other stuff to do with our lives. Yeah, because we, we've been kind of neglecting some stuff, and some, some situations have happened recently that maybe we're not entirely like comfortable talking about but that are kind of stressing us out and we don't want to have to deal with too many things at yeah once. plus like i gotta work on my webcomic yeah and, and there was a lot of work going oh, have on you this saved? last week no i haven't saved just yet yeah you should save okay it feels like it's been long enough I, yeah no I my know. um <laughs> my work schedule changes from week to week and sometimes they give me a lot of work and sometimes they don't like if I get, like, a long block of work days, like, I can have, like, five days in a row where I do not get a day off. We don't get time to do this because I usually have early shifts and we usually record kind of late. Except for today. We managed to get in early today, but that's because I didn't have work today. Like, it's it's kind of touch and go. We just yeah, do what we can bit. when we can. And I know that a lot of Let's Play groups wind up doing, uh, like, five or six hour sessions once a week. That would be exhausting. Yeah, but I feel like that like yeah. that's not something that we can really pull off too well. Yeah, we had, um, <clears throat> we had started making, like, lists of things to say that were relevant to each game so that we would kind of have ideas, and then we kind of stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've just been sort of, like, flailing this whole time we've been recording for this session. Um, no, it's fine. I, yeah. I haven't noticed anything. I don't know what oh, you're talking well, about. <laughs> well, I did. Okay, well, get out of your own head. Fuck. I, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I'm stuck in here. You, you show me how to do it. Get out of your Wait, own Wait, maybe, maybe it's called spawny because it does turn into a water type. Like yeah, spawning? It, like with fish? I don't know. I don't, catch I don't know. it. Catch it, catch it, catch it. <laughs> Oh, God. It looks like a baby version of, like, Kazooie. <laughs> yes. In fact, let's name it that. Let's oh, name Jesus. it Kazooie. Yeah, if I don't kill it. Um, well, this shouldn't kill it in one. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm a little un uneasy about uh, Panther knowing Water Gun. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> well, it probably is going to evolve into a water type, yes. I know, but it's like, it has Water Gun and it doesn't look like it should have Water Gun. Yeah, but it's, it's, Pokedex said that it's got, like, sponginess. It's probably going to be watery. What is this thing based on? Like, what is the animal? I don't know. Some kind of tick or a water bug or something. I hope it's not, like, a water tick or something that I'm unaware of. I don't know. We're going to name this Kazooie, and she's going to be our best friend. No, she's she's going to sit she's around gonna on her back and be sarcastic to us. She's going to break out, and we're going to have to kill her or something. No. no. <laughs> okay. So, Pahar. I can't even tell what that's supposed to be at I all. don't know. Pa parrot something? I don't know. Pahar are intelligent and commonly kept as pets. They can even be taught to talk, although not to the decree of Chatot. Yeah, I give that a name. Alright, what am I naming it? Just Kazooie. You're gonna have to spell only... it for me. <laughs> okay. It's Kazoo and then I-E. Alright. Yes, yeah. that's exactly it. <laughs> That's great. I keep getting worried whenever I type those things in because when I type really fast, sometimes I'll hit the wrong key. Well, <laughs> Especially that's just when I hit enter. Works. So I'm surprised nothing's come out as Kazooie and then like backslash. <laughs> well, I mean, you've already fucked up enough of our names that like I guess you've run out your karma. <laughs> nah, I'll just fuck up the rest of the names. There we go. Catch it. Catch it. Oh, man, it's a girl. Let's name it Amy Rose. <laughs> okay. Quit yelling, catch it, catch it. I'll, I'll catch it if I do. I won't if I don't. Well, try. Try harder. I'll try. I'll give it my tryest. 
Oof. Yeah, that, that hurt quite a bit. Yeah, this thing's really good. Well, it's just an electric type. It it happens to be... There's a lot of early electric types in this game. Yeah, I've noticed that. That's like, I'm thinking about it. Because our starter's electric. And then we've got... Uh, uh, the Chien Monk turns into an electric type. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, uh, this guy now. Uh, yeah. Who do I want? Let's go with Koos. Usually you get like one electric type early on. Fire is the one that's usually really rare. Yeah, and this one's actually had quite a few fire types too. Yeah, we've got s'mores, and now we got Kazooie, and um, I'm sure there were others. But yeah, like their type distribution is a little better. Fourth gen was especially bullshit because in like Diamond yeah. and Pearl, your only options were either get the fire starter or use Ponyta or suffer until you get like 90% through the game and then other fire types start showing up. It was insane. So both my, yeah. um, since I didn't want the, the fire starter, nothing's wrong with it, but like I didn't really want it. Um, I had in both Diamond and Platinum two different Ponytaws. <laughs> and they're both very different. One of them was way, way better at everything than the other. One of them, I, I don't know if there's like a hidden stat for like luck or something. There's but, not. But one of them, like if it was confused, it never got a hidden and it was confused very easily. Like if, if there was some kind of random chance with status ailment, it would always fuck up. The other one was just normal. <laughs> yeah, for some strange reason, you one of your ponytail, like, you were just... I think it's just you. You were very unlucky about... Oh, I forgot to read that. <laughs> ah, well, we'll, we'll look We'll at read the, it in a second. Yeah. Uh, so you said Amy, then? Unless you can think of a better girl, Sonic. Uh... Don't name it Sally. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can oh, if you geez. want. You Are you an Amy person or a... Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, how you like me now? Answer the question, though. Are you an Amy person or a Sally person? I don't care. Cool. <laughs> I think I like Amy better because Sally's clearly, like, something someone made up that had nothing to do with Sonic. I don't know. Yeah, that was Sonic uh, Saturday morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sonic Saturday Morning felt very much because it had so little to do with actual Sonic. Yep. Like somebody had an idea for a really good show that they wanted to do for kids and nobody would greenlight it until so they, they recycled the plot. Yeah, until somebody greenlit Sonic and handed it to them and they went, "Well, I guess I'll just recycle this this plot with Sonic then, I guess." Like it's it's the original version of like Skylanders. <laughs> Yeah, just like, oh, well, we've got this property that we got to use, and I've got this unused script that I keep wanting to push, and it's like, yeah, yeah, no, we'll just shove them together. Um, <laughs> as opposed to Amy, who was actually made for the game, so, like, she kind of fits yeah, into the I Sonic suppose. aesthetic and stuff. She does. I, I'm not going to deny that. Honestly, I do kind of like Sally a little bit more, I'm going to admit, but I, I feel like maybe that's mostly just... I don't know. I, I feel like maybe that's just me as a that's kid. That's just nostalgia, because, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I think that's all that it is. Yeah, it could be. Um, I do like Sonya the Hedgehog because Underground is my favorite Sonic. But at the same time, as far as characters from Underground go, Sonya is not very high on my list. Yeah, I understand that. Because Manic the Hedgehog is the best. <laughs> Manic the Hedgehog is nothing. Oh, bringing out some more. Yeah, I feel like uh, maybe Nestle. we could. Uh, yeah. I keep calling them all s'mores. Yeah, well, of they the are. That is that is their the name it's, of their breed. Yeah, it sounds like a nickname already. A little bit, yeah. Uh, there was, in in all fairness, there is a um, electric tail of Pikachu, which I think is the one that you particularly do not care for. No, you mistaken. know the one where they hired a hentai artist to do it, and everyone's <laughs> got giant titties, and it kind of follows the plot of the anime, but not. Oh yeah, for, it's not very for those good. of you, by the way, who have never read Electric Tail of Pikachu, Electric Tail of Pikachu is literally just let's rewrite the entirety of the anime. It's a manga that came out years and years ago. It, it came out when Pokemon first came out. Like yeah. it was red and green, the manga. But it was not uh, Pokemon Adventures, which is the one that people remember as being the one that's the, the really good. Version. Was there anything else in the grass up here that I haven't talked about? Um, I don't think so. Okay, then I okay. don't know why I'm headed back up there. Uh, but yeah, it, it was just, it's like Pokemon the comic, basically. And it was supposed to be a comic version of the anime, and it, it heavily departed from the anime very, very soon. 
And you get things like like Muscle Man fucking Professor Oak and like this weird version of Ash who names all of his Pokemon. Yeah, and so it's it's kind of like they just kind of dropped the concept in this guy's lap and then let him do whatever after a certain point. Yeah, and, and people don't realize, though, that the artist for that series was totally a porn artist. <laughs> yeah, like that's just a thing that happens in Japan. So it's like, whatever, I guess. And he drew what people basically consider canon uh, fucking like doujin for the manga now. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it was heavily censored when it was brought oh, to America because yeah, like everyone's super boobs censored. were insane. Just absolutely fucking <laughs> out there. Just torpedo boobs on everyone. Even Pikachu. No. No, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, I, I kind of liked some of the, um, the, the nicknames that he would give Pokemon in that, though. Like, Pikachu's nickname in Electric Tail of Pikachu. What am I even fighting right now? Oh, it's a, one of these. It's a Toos. Uh, in Electric Tale of Pikachu, the the name of um, the uh, the the Pikachu mm -hmm. was Jean Luc. Okay. <laughs> like he just named them these weird little things, and his uh, Caterpie's name was Felix. That's that's okay. That's <laughs> like fine. that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, that of course would just be what was in the translation. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, yeah, have yeah. any idea what the nicknames were in the original Japanese. Yeah, there were a ton of other names that were actually pretty good, but I don't remember what they yeah. were. Well, that, that manga is not very good, especially if you've read what um, in America was called Pokemon Adventures, in Japan it was called Pokemon Special. Yeah. It was basically a full reimagining of the games themselves done in a way where they really tried to make it look like it was a cohesive world and also it had a really good art style and the original artist what was it that happened to her like she had like she, an illness she got a uh near terminal illness unfortunately i'm gonna yeah. get rid of quick attack is that okay yeah it's for roost so it's a heal so move it's a heal. okay yeah. um but yeah she she got a nearly terminal illness that robbed her of her strength Entirely. So she couldn't draw anymore, and that's super sad. Yeah, and even after she eventually, I'm not gonna say like, oh, she was cured of it, but it's like even after she she made a comeback and did like like mm -hmm. live through it and survive through like the, it the stabilized. Disorder, yeah, it stabilized. Her strength never came back. Apparently, she she was a manga cop before that even happened, mm -hmm. and she has not put out any books since. Yeah, that's uh, really like, sad because her style was just fantastic. It was beautiful. Her art style was amazing. Yeah, I loved it. So, um, if you haven't like read Pokemon Adventures, go out and find some. I've got a bunch of them that I got off eBay back, uh, like I don't know, a long time ago. But I've got like the first like 30 some volumes, but I've got the version that was, um, it's an official translation in English, but it was one done in Singapore yeah, the and Singapore published only in like Southeast Asia. The, the Singapore translations were really common for a while because Viz was the, uh, yeah. the holder of, of the license for And they Pokemon weren't publishing the shit US. for a while. They stopped publishing, I think, after gold and silver yeah, they got up to mistaken. gold and silver and then they stopped caring and they stopped up until like i don't know like three four years ago so yeah, it and was then when the out of commission Soul until up, they did it again yeah it was out of commission until heart gold soul silver and it's like dude you skipped like two full generations yeah like, so yeah to, i mean they were official like like licensed i just had to get them from ebay because someone bought them from a bookstore and then sold them to americans yeah i think i paid like 160 bucks and they for were in english group. and they were okay translations yeah this was back before i had to care about money <laughs> uh, also they were not um i, I did notice this recently mm -hmm. they're the singapore translations do not have the censorship that viz slipped in there viz totally censored a bunch of those books there's there's a bit more violence than you'd expect also yeah, it, um well, it's other things there's too, some but, name yeah. changes that they they did not do like um in uh, japan uh, the games oh. were red and green oh, and then right. blue was done that. afterwards it was like an update to the graphics in america they just released it as red and blue so there's a character named Green who his equivalent for America should be blue. So basically Gary would have been <laughs> green and then would be blue. And then there was another character introduced who was a girl whose name was Blue and they've already named someone Blue so I had to name her Green. <laughs> Yeah, it's very confusing yeah. and messed up. Yeah, it doesn't make any switched. sense for like many reasons. Yeah. Uh, Nestle's gonna die here because of Arena Trap. <laughs> oh well. 
I was really hoping that Nestle could stay alive during some of these gym fights so that he, we could get some level ups going off on him, but like, I don't know if that's gonna be yeah. viable. Oh, well. I might have to grind him like off screen. Oh yeah, that's I guess. fine. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to though, that's that's all. Oh, you're tired of grinding? No, it, it's not that I'm tired of grinding, it's that a lot of these battles, especially against trainers and stuff, mm -hmm. trainer battles, the Pokemon will always give you more experience, like almost no matter what. Yeah, well someone's gonna get experience, and everyone can uh, use it because we're so early on. Yeah. Uh, I'd help with grinding if I could, but it's I your know, computer. I know, I know, that's your excuse, I know, I'm aware. <laughs> you could always send me the save file, but nah. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know how that works. Uh, with RPG Maker, it actually should work perfectly fine, but yeah, like I don't know because they may the have encoded plus it the, so like the file, and then I go in and then... I don't know. <laughs> we we had somebody ask on the, uh, the Tumblr recently how it is that we, like... Well, I had to field this question, but it's... Uh, how it is that we we find or how we we found and downloaded this game? Yeah, because all of the official sources are gone. Yeah. They have they have been gone for a while, like completely gone. Uh, and the like person was talking about like, oh well, I thought I found an official source at some point, but it turned out to be like a virus or something like that. And I was I'm not like, surprised. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the I would suggest probably there are two sources that I would go to and check. Uh, the first one is, there is totally a wiki for this game. It's Pokemon Uranium, I think, dot wikia. Probably. Something like that. It's it's actually relatively good as a wiki. It's got plenty of pages. Probably it's probably made got, by the people who made the game, It's honestly. got a fairly large community. Well, the people who made the game recently washed their hands of the game. Yeah, but no, before that. Like, yeah, they maybe. were probably writing stuff on there as they were programming it in. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but there is a wiki, and the wiki has an entire page about helping to find download sources for the game. So that's probably a pretty good idea. The other option is, and I don't particularly like doing this, but there is a subreddit for it. And if you go onto the subreddit, they do have plenty of options for places to download. He doesn't like it because we think Reddit is like constructed in the worst way. It's yeah, so I don't like looking that. at Reddit. Reddit's <laughs> ugly. It's just that I don't like the way it looks. Like it just, it's so hard for me to navigate through. And I feel like an old person when I, I go on there and can't figure things out. I've considered maybe we should set up a Dropbox to just put the game into. Oh no, I, I don't feel like that's a good idea. Also people who do that, I think have been getting yelled at by Nintendo, but I can't uh, be a hundred percent sure. Cause like, uh, I, I feel like, like it would be nice to be able to contribute a little. Cause the reason it was taken down, surprise, surprise, is because Nintendo doesn't like fan games. Yeah. Uh, and we, we had a thing where we were discussing a little bit ago, um, Metroid, and it was on Metroid's, well, it was near Metroid's, um, uh, uh, Should we be smashing these rocks? No, not unless we, I don't think there's a puzzle, I think it's just walk to it. But, uh, I want to fight these trainers okay. anyway, so... But, uh, like, we were talking about it during Metroid's, I don't know, like, 25th anniversary something or something like that. Like that. Uh, the thing that actually prompted that hatred about the fact that Metroid was not getting a game was that Nintendo canceled a fan game. Like, I didn't say it, but that is how I felt, and that was what I was thinking about yeah. at the time. I like, mean, it's within the rights to do so, but, like, they're not losing anything from uh, it? I don't know. Bug type? No, that's probably a bad idea. Like, like they're... This isn't going to stop anyone from buying a Pokemon game. This is not, like stealing a Pokemon game. Yeah. Any more than, like, writing fanfiction is, you know? Thing. 